Hey everybody, it's Mike with the uh, 1974 GMC. Uh, today I started in on the floor. My plan was to do <clears throat> this uh, one piece that you see across here, this vertical on the last step, and then the two, the two uh, sides of the engine hatch. But a friend of mine was here and helping me out and he said, well, he said, you don't have enough of the sheet left after cutting that one out to basically get all three pieces, the engine hatch and the two, uh, two uh, sides with the, uh, for the seats. And so we did some measuring, and what we figured out is we did have enough left to do this piece back here. So we did cut that out and uh, do that. And uh, just to kind of show you what we did, um, <coughs> can see this edge here and basically there's a 20 degree angle and then about an inch wide quarter inch deep dado and that gets you over there's like a step here in the back with some welds and whatever that so this is sitting down nice and square on the frames so fit that in just a lot of measuring a lot of dinking around here's some cardboard pattern I made for the corner pieces and I cut them to this pattern and then I still had to do a little trimming and whatever, but they're fit in there, fit in good. A little caulk at the end of the day and uh, they'll be fine. I haven't put the uh, insulation underneath, but basically what we figured out was six sheets is what it's gonna take to do it. So we're gonna be using two sheets here where the dog's laying and uh, we're gonna run those across. And I may have to put another cross member in. We'll see when I start ripping out the, the rest of the floor. So I have decided basically now to do the whole floor. But so one of these pieces gets cut and gives us enough to do the other vertical on the step. And uh, then the piece, the sheet that's used to make the engine hatch and, and both sides gives us the piece that we need for this step. So we've got all three step pieces, and then there's two more, two more four by eights here running long ways with the seam in the middle. And so basically you have one, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and enough fall off to do the, the, the rest of the, of the pieces. So six pieces is what it's going to take to do there. Six sheets is what it's going to take to do this. Where I am, six sheets of three-quarter marine is about $135. So, you know, still a pretty, uh, pretty healthy sum of money, but still not the $2,000 that, it's, that it would cost to do it uh, in the CUSA board. Probably better, better stuff, but, uh, you know, trying to stay on a budget. And uh, kind of on that same note, we've got this uh, gray water tank. So the best that I can do is to, well, probably the cheapest thing is for me to reuse my black water tank, uh, seal up the cracks with some uh, RTV, and uh, I, did, uh, I did clean up and get the, uh, I'll show you here the, uh, clean up and got the uh, the valve working for because uh, that's a special valve that Thetford valve doesn't match with anything anymore and to reuse that I'd need to get one of those tools to bore out that uh, coupling so that uh, so that that valve could be reused and I could do that that's probably the cheapest thing to do but I'm going to all this work I hate like heck to put a cracked tank back in the other thing is, is the cheapest I've found for a GMC Waste One tank is, uh, hang on one second. So I guess back to what I was saying, it's been, uh, been quite a while, or been some, quite, that we talked about this, but the, so the, to get the best price I've found on the GMC uh, Waste One tank, which is the tank with the center outlet, it's about 30 gallons. Um, you can get it. It basically has no holes in it, which I like because I could put uh, put um, whatever I want, you know, hole-wise in it. You know, my toilet over here, my sink over there, whatever. Um, but it's uh, $309 for the tank. 
and then 210 to ship it from California. So, you know, you're at five, five hundred and nineteen dollars for and, and it doesn't give me any advantage. It just basically gives me the same thing I had. It's just not a cracked tank. Um, I would like an increased volume. So I, I have decided that I'm even though that cross members welded in, I'm going to leave about four inches of it or five inches of it on each side. I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to move it back. And I'm going to put in a couple of 25-ish gallon tanks. One will be gray water, one will be black. Um, that'll give me more capacity. You know, your black tank, you know, you got, th uh, my, my coach, I have 30 gallons of fresh water. Um, you start out with some water in the black tank already so that, you know, stuff has, uh, can decompose and do whatever. So, you know, that'll allow me to have that water in there plus the 30 gallons. And then if you're staying, staying a long time, you know, to, to put five or ten more fresh gallons in is, is pretty easy. You know, I just have a nice tank to go get it. And, uh, you know, a lot of the campsites we stay at, there's a, a hose spigot, you know, right on the, right on the, on the run around the uh, campground. You go fill it up, dump a couple things in, and, and, and you're still going without, you know, tearing down, driving, and dumping. So I think that's how I'm going to go. I uh, just got, like I said, I, from what I see, I can get... I can't, they're 40 gallon tanks, not exactly what I want. I'm going to look for something a little smaller, but I could fit two 40 gallon tanks under there. Um, and they're like 189 shipped to my door. So for under 400 bucks, they're here shipped to my door and, and I'm getting an improvement. So we'll get this floor tore out. It'll give me a little bit better and I'll probably cut that cross member and move it and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, it's kind of where I am and uh, kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, it'll be a little bit before I post again. I have a, uh, I'm leaving uh, tomorrow or Thursday for St. Ignace, Michigan for the uh, annual car show up there to blast or take the Corvette up and uh, have a good time. Got a bunch of friends up there. And then when I get back, I'm having a devi deviated septum repaired in my nose. So that'll be another, at least probably week of uh, recuperation. So we'll go from there. I have one more thing I want to show you and then I'll sign off. But uh, thanks everybody for watching. So this is my rear hatch, I'm getting ready to put that back in. And there were several cracks, especially on this end. It was cracked here in the corner. This rib was cracked, that rib was cracked. There was a crack down, kind of down in the bottom there. So I fiberglass that up, but there was another, another crack. You can kind of see it even through the, through the uh, fiberglass mat, but I got mad on both sides of that got that cleaned up so basically what I think happened with my coach is that that corner up there backed into they must have backed into something you know it might have just been a tree branch or a, an overhang or something but I had to do a lot of uh, fiberglass work up in this corner if you'll remember and uh, so so at any rate getting that patched up and uh, I'd like to clean these up a little I guess it doesn't really matter but those are the plates that somebody put in to hold the, 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 take the weight of the ladder and spread it out. So they don't exactly match, but they're going to be hidden. And I got to keep telling myself this is not perfection. This is a functional unit that we want to make pretty nice. So, all right, everybody, take care. Bye.